Arena Breakout Infinite. What a name. Kind of came out of nowhere for PC. Has been a mobile game for some time, I believe. And as of the making of this video, we're currently in a closed beta test. And with us being some of the lucky ones to take part in this current test, I thought I'd give you some of my impressions. And so far, I've really enjoyed my time with Arena Breakout Infinite. I know they jumped on the EFT drama massively to promote their game. I think it worked out really well for them. And I've always been very vocal on my thoughts towards Battle State games and Escape from Tarkov. So with that said, here is some background. I have played Tarkov since the very start. Battle State were nice enough to send me a full EOD account. Of course, this was when my channel was doing much better for itself. I do really appreciate being thought in these instances. But that won't stop me from talking about the pricing tier that they do, as well as this newer one that was uh, proper proper bad. Uh, yeah, kind of stripping anything that was promised to EODs and put them in another one that cost uh, $250 or a $100 upgrade if you add EOD. I'm glad to see that they've rolled all that back and actually took the criticisms on, but that it happened in the first place is kind of shocking. So when I saw that there were some competitions with Grey Zone and then Arena, I was quite excited. I did enjoy Tarkov at first, but I felt that Tarkov, in my recent couple of play sessions I've attempted with Helkiana, that it's just too bloated. I get that people like it. I'm not saying don't like it, you can't like it. If you enjoy it, then more power to you, and I'm glad you love it. But BST just kept seeming to add loads and loads of stuff, constantly, constantly, constantly. You feel like you've got to have a degree to understand the game. I don't have time to do that, and I like to just get in, have fun, shoot stuff, get out. And that's where Arena Breakout comes in. It's pretty much Tarkov, but without all the hassle of what do I use to heal this and that, and why, where do I go for this? There's an in-game map, it tells you where to go. You can press a button on your missions that highlights the quest itself on your map, and then it, it highlights it on your compass. You can just press V as long as the medicals are in your pocket or your pouch, you can press V to heal. It's so much less stress in a pvp combat situation so i've got some gameplay for you in the background i almost died i don't know how i didn't and lukage managed to save me shortly after almost killing both of us but we'll forget that even happened i'll forgive him for that because he did save me and then we were just having some fun with some just bare bones naked pistol runs with the crappiest revolver you can get and it was surprisingly fun we can manage to kill a pretty geared player and I think this is down to the fact that the game is just got that more of a an arcadey one-to-one -one attachment. It's, it's not got the floatiness, the inertia that the EFT and other realistic tactical shooters have. This has gone for that more arcadey feel. It's much more faster paced. So I feel you've got a bit more of a chance to run around and quickly pop off shots. That's not to say you can't slow it down and be a little bit more tactical with suppressed weapons or snipers. One instance where myself and Lukage loaded up with Mosins with a PU scope, and we went on a hunt, tracking down players. If we saw them, we waited for the right moment to shoot, and we took out a couple of geared players, even gained myself a Desert Eagle. Now, I know this was on mobile originally, and it's very similar, if not identical, maps. I think they've upgraded the textures and the models and things like that to make it look better for PC, but it's pretty much the same game uh, from what I can tell. I did play the mobile version very briefly, but the map was pretty much identical, at least the first map farm. So I think if you like the idea of Tarkov but you could never really get into it too much to worry about with the medical system and all the places you have to go but you get confused I don't know where to go for this mission I think this is really pushing all the right buttons for those players especially me I'm one of those I could not wrap my head around all the things you've got to worry about focus on where you need to go what you need to do to heal this game nails everything like that it's a bit more like a, a more casual Tarkov and they've nailed everything almost pretty much to perfection with this style of tactical extraction shooter you can still get one pop to the face but you do still have a greater chance of survival if not shot straight in the face with a large caliber rifle some of the things in my opinion as a first impression that need balancing are the pricing some stuff is extremely expensive buying some ammo for your guns kind of drains your wallet pretty quick though money is pretty easy to come by if you gain a load of loot in a raid and then you sell it all you can use their marketplace to get better prices or you can just sell it straight to a normal ai trader but there's also a gunsmith mode to customize weapons and if you use that all oh, the prices shoot up i added just a suppressor i think a foregrip and an acog to an m4 and it went up to 95,000 coin so that's insane pricing there's also no insurance mechanic, so if you lose your gun in a raid, you won't get it back unless you're playing with friends, 
they pick up your gun and extract with it it gets sent back to your post so you do kind of get a recovery in that way um, but i think for solo players or just normal play in general i think an insurance mechanic would be much needed especially if things are costing that much or lower the prices in general uh, this is going to be a free to play game so i don't know how they're going to balance all of this with battle passes and uh, currencies and things because it's free to play they've got to make their money somewhere but things are stupidly priced so if they can balance that out with an insurance mechanic uh they probably help a lot um as far as the battle passes go i really hope they're not stupid and everybody running around in bunny suits a, a month after release uh, i think it, keep it tactical just some really nice cool skins different color soldier outfits and military outfits and things like that would work really well but if they go in the way of say PUBG went in the past with the bright pink bear and dinosaur outfits i think it's just going to really kind of ruin the look of the game keep it as it is and keep going with what they're doing and they're on to a winner in my books but anyway i'll leave my waffling there for now and i'll leave you with a little bit more gameplay of myself and lukage let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on arena breakout infinite have you been lucky enough to get access and give it a go I hope it's not much of a wait until everybody else gets a chance to play. I think a lot of people are really going to enjoy this game. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you like to see the content I create. Most of all, thank you for watching and I'll see you peeps next time. Ooh. Was that you? Yeah, it's just an AI. What I gotta do by here then? Oh, I'm, I've got to the, get to the transport. Is that it? Is that all I had to do here? I think that was it. Nice double team. Who <laughs> the shotguns? Uh, cool with this ammo. Told ya. Not sure if player or AI in front of me. 10 degrees east. It's in the woods towards the extract. Up on the little grid. Ah! Where, where, where? He's around the corner left. Oh god, sorry. I'm really wounded. Heal up. Let me see if we can get in this house. Do you have a surgical kit? Yeah, yeah, I can drop you one. I disconnected my fucking mouse and everything then I couldn't move. Thank you. That uh, was AI, I think. Just walking uh, out in the middle of the road. It was. Me. Oh no no! He's down there. Oh, I'm on fire. I set myself on fire. I'm trapped in this bathroom now. <laughs> like I try to throw it out the window. I don't see the surgical kit I picked up. Yeah, we're fucked now, aren't we? <laughs> oh, God! He, he, he came up the stairs, right outside your door. <laughs> nice, you got him! I'm alive, I'm alive! Ooh. My hero!
probably probably wasn't expecting me to come out of that door then, was he? No, I don't think so. He, he looked at me for a split second because I weren't quite dead. Funny. Well, I thought I handled that quite well. Yeah. It's hurting me to run. I'm getting chest pains. Real life, or...? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, I can't believe I survived that, Jesus. I didn't know you could go uh, down like that and get revived. <laughs> yeah, not very often it happens like that. Usually you just get one tap to the head, but... Jeez, nice. You saved my ass. 